that I could not stand listening to and seeing the goofball in this video. Well, doesn't sound quite fair, does it? Well, I guess you're wondering why uh, we're so formal today. Well, we've got a tie on. All shall be revealed. Hello, and welcome to the Art of Engineering, a place where art, engineering, and ham radio all collide. It's been a, a, a quite a busy time. Um, as usual, we're having trouble focusing on one thing and um, getting one thing completed, because that's a scatological sort of person that I am. But I have had some feedback on my channel, and I asked for feedback. I said, I want feedback. Good, bad, ugly, and um, you haven't disappointed me with your feedback, so thank you. Sorry, but I could not stand listening to and seeing the goofball in this video. If you want attention in ham radio, can I suggest acting and dressing professional, like an engineer, and not a clown? Is this video for real? I need to dress for success. In response to uh, some requests for a more professional demeanour in my videos, um, I've decided uh, to wear this tie and the epaulets, uh, radio officers' epaulets, as it, as it may be. To make sure that people understand my uh, professional credentials. No, don't listen to any of that. Anything you see in these videos and you decide to replicate, you do so at your own risk because I am a bona fide idiot. Cheap SDR clone, HF, VHF, UHF. Is it, or is it? Let's take a look. I've been watching lots of videos on SDR radio and, uh, and I got very excited by the possibilities of turning a computer into a fantastic receiver. So got online, started doing a little bit of research, as usual, not enough research. And when you don't do enough research, it always ends up costing you money. But like I said, every mistake teaches you something. Okay, so I looked online and I saw these dongles and the thing that was attractive about this particular dongle was that uh, it has a UV and that's not ultraviolet. We're not using uh, this to receive messages from the sun. Uh, I think that's UHF, VHF. The U and the V stands for UHF, VHF. And obviously this input here on the SMC connector is HF. Now, the performance of this particular radio, I'll, I'll show you some examples in the videos to come. This is going to be a quick video, down and dirty. We're not going to make you wait for too long. I'm not going to string you along for hours and hours. It works on UHF and VHF reasonably well. On the broadcast uh, VHF band, obviously, those stations are pumping out the, the watts. It receives okay. Now, I will say that the, uh, you know, the 1980s cell phone antenna that they give you, if you're using this inside, You'll get broadcast FM with it if you think you're going to start getting reception of hams and whatnot. Obviously, if you're nearby uh, a ham uh, location or lots of ham radio operators, you might get some 2 meter or 70 centimeter activity, or if you're close to a repeater. I can honestly say with this antenna here, apart from broadcast FM, you are going to get virtually nothing. The little joke antennas they send you out, that's one thing that, um, you know, obviously you can't make an antenna that's going to go from the, you know, 1 meg through to, uh, to 500 or whatever this does, but um, it's a bit annoying that you know that you get this mag base here and you've got this little piece of uh, I guess it's like a little uh, brass screw and you're supposed to uh, screw this antenna here I'll just try and that, that's supposed to screw down onto this unfortunately the little post it's supposed to screw down on is stuck inside um, it's either been screwed down or I don't know but you know how am I supposed to screw that onto that it's so sad when you buy something new and you have to do surgery to it straight away. It's just pathetic. Now, how I was ever going to screw down on what was left of that thread, I will never know. And I'm still wondering whether it's going to work. But, um, hey, nothing ventured, nothing gained.
Now, the question I need to ask is, um, buying a new antenna, should I have to do that to get it to actually work? So I built a, a two meter antenna using a piece of PVC pipe and uh, that video is um, called the Prepper Antenna. So if you wanna have a look at that, link below and I'll probably put on the end screen as well. I used that external antenna and I managed to get some air band at the airport, which is about you know, eight, six to eight kilometers away. And I could hear both the aircraft and the tower. This is um, ground transmissions as well. So it's not uh, an aircraft in the sky. So we were going eight Ks to the airport, which um, considering the height of my antenna is not too bad. And I received a little bit of ham traffic, not a lot and not terribly powerful from a repeater in Engadine, which is about 36 kilometers away. And if it's a repeater, it's probably got a nice high antenna and it's in a good location. So not amazing performance, but I did get some ham uh, radio reception. I'm, I'm getting an amazing amount of interference and I think it's probably pager inter interference and I'm close to the hospital here as well. Um, and I know that medical professionals still use pages a lot. So I think that's breakthrough from the pager and it's very annoying on two meters. It's just constantly interrupting any, any listening that you're doing. So the criticism of these um, dongles, and this one, you know, was 50 or 60 bucks, I think I paid for it, is that uh, the front end of the receiver is really crap. Now on HF, for the, con um, the up converter, because I basically take an HF signal and up convert it so that the dongle can receive it on the um, VHF, UHF part of the radio, that's my understanding at any rate. Comment below if I've got no idea. But that part of the radio is crap. I've played around with the settings. I've done, uh, I've done a lot of research on that side of things. I've had it into an end-fed antenna, which should be more than adequate, an outdoor antenna. And it is, even on AM broadcast, woefully bad. Signal to noise ratio is terrible. AM radio, local AM radio from Sydney is just so weak. And I haven't managed to receive anything um, on the HF bands other than um, that very, very weak AM signal. So if you've enjoyed this video, please jump on my channel and have a look at the other videos. There's some ham radio videos and various other things. I've just gone back into ham radio. I'm really having a great time and I'd really appreciate you having a look and um, enjoying this journey with me. And also please tap the like and subscribe button just like it's a Morse key. Send me some sweet CW. Make me a happy man. Doesn't sound quite fair, does it? Okay, so what we have here is uh, the uh, Aerodrome Terminal Information Service. I'll just turn the sound on so you can hear it. Terminal Information, Tango. Expect instrument approach. Runway 1, 6 left and right for arrivals and departures. Fly. Independent, parallel departures in progress. Many at in area. Wind. What have I learned about this little expedition into SDR? This device here will be useful for me to signal sniff maybe. You know, if I've built a little QRP transmitter and I just want to listen to the note of the transmitter, um, I'll be able to use it for that, see where it is roughly on the spectrum once I've um, made sure that this is actually accurate. And there's ways of doing that. I set it up to receive DMR. There's a plug-in for uh, digital mobile radio for encoded radio. Um, or digital modes. It didn't um, work terribly well. I think I got one signal the whole time in, on, on um, the amateur bands. So I would be saying, what have I learned about buying these cheap dongles? Don't. Don't buy the cheap one. Go to AirSpy and uh, download SDR Sharp and buy one of their recommended dongles. Am I giving you that advice from the point of view of someone that's actually done that? No. But um, I've done a lot of research. I've looked at some videos from a gentleman that runs a, a YouTube channel called Frugal uh, SDR Radio, I think it is. Um, link below. And that's one of the things that he does discuss, the fact that you know, you're not really saving yourself money by buying the cheaper uh, dongles because their front ends, selectivity, uh, signal to noise ratio, all that sort of stuff, all those important specifications for a receiver 
are pretty bad usually or it's very hit and miss um, if you buy something that's a clone. So please comment below um, and let me know what your experiences have been with these cheaper dongles and don't say that, oh, mine works and it's really good if you haven't been listening to ham stations because, yeah, it, these things will pick up broadcasts and it'll give the you know appearances of being a working SDR radio and, and doing its job. But um, where it counts, at least for me and what I want to use it for, this is not good enough. So I will be buying a, a non-clone from one of the recommended providers that AirSpy um, recommends. I will be doing that and we'll see how that performs in comparison.